We get this a lot from our viewers. How do you know what art to hang above a sofa? How big should it be? How high should it be? And how many pieces? So Aaron's back with some guidelines. This is good information for us all to have because if you are going to invest in a nice big piece of art, you want to make sure it is showcased properly. Absolutely. You gotta, it has to be the right piece, the right size, the right scale, and the right place on the wall. And the right place on the wall. So, so we're going to start by yes. showing the wrong I'm gonna place show you, on we'll the We'll show you a wall. picture of the wrong. The, the art is right, the sofa is right, but yeah. the placement is wrong. So this is what, what I call when bad things happen to good art. So <laughs> it's literally, and this I see in houses all the time, it drives me bananas. I will walk in and someone has hung something either too small and it's too high, yeah. or too large and it's too high. Right. This one, the scale is right, but it literally, I just want to grab it and bring it down by at least a foot right. and get it in that right spot on the wall. I want to ask the audience that when you see art like that, did it look too high to you? Yeah. Just give me yeah. a shot. Yes, it did look too high to you because I find in many homes people are hanging their art very high. Um, we're not used to doing the low thing because I think a lot of people think I'm going to sit on the sofa and be banging my piece of art behind my head. Sure, and then that is something obviously you do have to think about with placement. It's a very inexact science. Yes. And it is always about what looks good to you, but right. there are tricks to it as okay. well. Absolutely. Shall we show them the right we way? We shall show you the right way. So this is, we're standing by the right way right now. Look at these a fantastic lips. piece. And even uh, this one, it, it could, could have come down low, but I like the height. And the height, we're at this height because when you're standing in front of art, mm -hmm. you have to think of it like a mirror. So your head should almost be in the uh, top half of the artwork on the wall. Right. But really the easiest way to figure it out is if you divide your wall horizontally into four. Okay. The first two, nothing there of course. Yeah. The third area up that wall is where the art should sit. Okay. And the other thing you have to think about is scale. Now most people buy art that's far too small for the walls. Mm -hmm. They buy something diddly and it just doesn't work at all. So yes. we're looking for drama, we're looking for big impact. If you have a fantastic sofa like this one from Ikea, which yep. is a stunner by the way, it's the right color, it's like in velvet, it's totally on trend. Yep. You're not gonna wanna put a wimpy piece of art on the wall. That's no. why these, these gold leaf lips are fantastic. Yes, they are beautiful. They are beautiful, yes. Now what if, I mean, the impact of this alone is incredible, especially with the sofa and the gorgeous wall color. Can I put more pieces up there? And if I do, how do I do that? I would not okay. put more pieces up. I think that when you're making a big statement, one big fantastic piece will totally work. Yeah. You just have to let it breathe. So that breathing room is very important, but that scale is very important too. Yes. When you're picking up for a, above a larger piece of furniture, it should be at least one third to two thirds of the width of the piece itself. One third to two thirds of the width. Minimum. So, so you're looking for something that is almost the sure. size of your sofa. Yeah, and all the art we're seeing today is from Renwell, which is a great company. Mm -hmm. They're really on trend. They have lots of really interesting pieces. Like, I, I just adore these lips. Yeah, me too. Uh, and what they do now is they don't make small pieces anymore. They make a few small pieces, yeah. but most of their pieces are much, much larger because that's what you need in interiors now, too. You know what those lips say about you as a homeowner? What's that? You are generous and loving. There we go. Mwah. 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 You're kissing all of your guests, which is <laughs> great. <laughs> Okay, so let's show them another example sure. of uh, the right way. The right way. This is another right art. way. And what we're looking at here is something that would be called almost gallery style. Yes. When you are mixing up a kind of a melange of different pieces. Mm -hmm. So the tricks here are to mix pieces that work well, but not perfectly together, because you always need that little snap, that little frisson of difference in the art. Okay. Um, and the other thing to think about too is where it's placed and how it's placed as well. Yeah. So what I really suggest with this first is lay the pieces out on the floor, on that brown paper, hang that up on the wall, and then you are going to make it work for you. So for those of you thinking that is way too much work to do, think about the amount of work it is to, to switch this all around and get the nails sure. in the right place. It makes sense to do it on it the ground first. It does make Listen, you are going to make a mistake. You are yes. going to get it up there and it's not going to go right the first time. Yeah. Honestly, like my walls at home, I've got big gallery walls in our stairwell, at like double nice. heights. There's tons of art there and there's lots of holes behind the artwork. Right. But the thing is with this is what you're doing is you're creating a, a single look from a mixture of different pieces. Okay. So that's what you have to really consider. So again, we've centered this through here. So you wouldn't have wanted to off-center this artwork. You want the whole grouping to be all together. Mm. Now the other thing to consider too is that mix and match and the fact that the art should not, in my opinion, 
match the sofa. There's yeah, there's a lot of I, I think we're still stuck in that in that place, right? There yeah. are a lot of people looking for a piece of art that's going to bring out something in the room. It's not the worst thing you can do, no. but you should actually be choosing your art based on the art. If you're smart enough to be able to mix an outfit together, yeah. this is again about that mix. Yeah. You have to yeah. throw interesting pieces in there, something that's a bit unusual, right. something that's a little edgy, something that's a little 3D as well. Don't mm -hmm. just think flat, which right. is why these kind of pieces with the great word, great kind of modern detail with almost that almost handmade, handcrafted look work really, really well as a group. So if you have a grouping, you are basically hanging them as a grouping. As a, You're not as a looking whole. at them each individually. You're putting them on as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another photo right we now. Mm -hmm. Which um, is a triptych, which so, is a lovely Latin okay, word. Okay, let's take a look at it. So here we have three pieces, again, hung yeah. at that eye level height. Mm -hmm. Really the minimum you're looking at here is to make sure that you have at least uh, eight to 10 inches above the piece of furniture for where the artwork starts. Yeah. And again, between the pieces, don't put them too far apart. Three, four inches maximum, because you want to feel them have them feel cohesive again too. Yes. Now there's a quick sort of test you can do mm -hmm. uh, to see if this is working or not because a lot of us don't trust our own eyes. Sure. Trust trust your smartphone. Trust your smartphone. Take a picture. <laughs> Does it look like something you would post on Instagram? Right. If it's looking a bit off, <laughs> yeah. maybe you've hung something at the wrong height yeah. or maybe your artwork is too small. So again, you just have to look at pieces that you love and you can really refer back to why those photographs work that you've seen on Instagram yeah. and why yours are maybe not. Yeah, you can trust your eye. You know the best. You, you know what's going on there, Absolutely. right? Very nice. Good lesson, Aaron. Thank, Thank you.